Hey everybody and welcome to Ages Cozy Crochet Corner where today we'll be doing a cover up and I would like to say how flourishing it is because my daughter told me to because she said all these tassels was giving her flourishing. Um, with that being said, the only thing I want to say pre uh, going to the table is when I did my tassels on this, um, I took in because I'm using um, the type of yarn I'm using, I didn't want them to unravel. So I took and we made knots at the end of every last tassel, uh, which took quite a while, but um, it made it work. So, okay, guys. So I also wanted to come in and say before we get to the table um, that this size is going to be from a small to an extra large. So you saw my daughter and how she wore it in the beginning and this is how it fits for a small and this is how it fits for extra large so i don't feel the need to give any additional uh sizes for sizes small to extra large but if you have a larger size and you need help and trying to expand it then go ahead and meet me in the comment section or email me and i'll give you help Okay, so we're at the table, and this is what we're going to need to make this cover-up. We're going to be using a 4-millimeter hook, scissors, we will be using pins, and a yarn needle in order to sew up our sides and to weave in our ends. And we will need yarn. Now, I'm using... Kobu by Lion Brand. This is a light three yarn and the color is Leechin. It's like a minty green color. And there are 232 yards in this yarn to make the size that we're making now um, that I'm making on camera. I'm using four of these. Now, because the foundation chain um, for the size is so long, I'm not going to do that. I'm only going to change chain 20 in order to show you this three rep pattern repeat, um, three row repeat for this pattern. <laughs> now, if you want to change the length of your piece, you're going to do that in the foundation chain. So if you want your piece to be longer than the suggested uh, size for your size, then you would just chain more, but always keep it in multiples of two. So again, I'm going to chain 20. Three, four. Now to begin our first row, we're going to be making half doubles. We're not going to place our first half double in the first loop on our um, from our hook. We're going to place it into the second. So skip a loop and into the second one we'll be placing a half double. And then we're going to place half doubles all the way down. Okay, so once you've gotten to the last half double, and you should have one less in your from your foundation chain. So I did 20 in my foundation chain, so I should have 19 half doubles. Chain one and turn our work. So now I'm going to yarn over and right into the first stitch we're going to place double crochets. And we're going to double crochet all the way down to the end of this row. Now I'm back to where I want to make sure I get that last stitch. Place my double crochet. Now, the last row in this repeat is going to be treble stitches. Now, because our third row is treble, instead of chaining up one for our third row, we want to chain up two, turn our work. Now, just as the chain ones that chain two, 
does not count into anything. You want to yarn over two times. And into that very first stitch, we're going to place a treble stitch. One, two, and three. All right, now after your treble, you want to chain one, yarn over again two times. We're going to skip the next stitch, and into the following one, we're going to place another treble. Then we're going to chain one again, yarn over two times. Skip a stitch, and in the following stitch, we're going to place another treble. Chain one. Yarn over two times. We're going to skip the next stitch, and into the following stitch, we'll place a treble. Chain one, we're going to skip a stitch and the following stitch, another treble. And we're going to do this all the way until the end of the row. Chain one, skip a stitch, and in the next stitch, place our treble. Okay, so when we get to the end, we should have two more spaces left. So after you chain one, you should have the one you skip, and then that last stitch should be your treble. Okay, so let's look at this three row repeat again um, for this size, for this little sample size, I chain 20. Um, we're going to lose one because we're going to skip the first loop from our on our foundation chain and go into the next one and create our half doubles. So therefore, I have 19 half doubles. Um, chain one on our second row. We're going to do all double crochets because we're now transitioning to our treble row. We're going to chain two at the end of that row. And then we're going to put a treble in our first stitch, chain one, skip one, treble, chain one, skip one, treble, chain one, skip one. And we're going to do that all the way down to the end. And the last one in that, the last stitch should be a treble, okay? So now I'm going to show you how to do the half double row coming off of the treble row. So we make sure we do not skip any stitches. So we're going to chain one, turn our work. Now we're going to place a half double right into that first treble. Our next treble is going to go into the chain one space. Our next half double will go into the treble. And then we'll put a half double into the chain one space. And a half double into the treble. Half double into the chain one space. Half double into the treble. And half double into the chain one space. So that's how we're going to go start restart the pattern. Half double on the treble in between in the chain one space in the treble in between in the chain one space in the treble in between the chain one space into the treble and in between. So we're going to do that all the way down in our next row. 
we'll go back to our half double row. And then after that, the chain, the treble row with the chain one space. And we'll just keep repeating those. Now you're going to Now, this is our finished back piece. Now, remember, we worked our rows from half double to double to treble to and repeat, repeat, repeat. And it was facing this way. But the way our pattern works, we'll be turning our work. So the trebles and all your stitches run this way. Now this is a completed back piece. All right. This is your completed back piece. So I wanted to see, show you how it looked once you've completed all of your rows. All right. So from here, let's start looking at our front pieces because we have to make two panels for our front piece. Now this is one of our front panels. The front panels are, once put together, will be equal to the back panel. So this is one of our front panels and this is working from where your arm would be to the middle of your chest. So as you see here, we have a little decrease, almost like a V-neck little dip. Okay, now with this dip, we're going to work it from this way all the way to we begin to decrease to get the dip. Now this dip, this dip is about eight and a half inches in, okay? Well, down. So if you want your dip to be more than this, I will show you when we begin the decrease how to achieve that. And again, that's if you want it to be deeper than that. But I like this step. So now that you see the piece that we'll be creating for the front, let's begin to create the piece for the front. Now this is going to function just like the back did. So we're going to begin from this side working the pattern all the way out until we get here so now here i have my foundation chain is the same as my back and i worked this front panel to the point where we're going to start doing our decreases now everyone's row should have them have stopped on a double crochet row our decrease is going to start on our chain one treble row okay. So now that I'm in at the end of that row of double crochets, I just want to turn my work. Now in the beginning where we're starting right here, if you want that dip longer than eight and a half, then you're just going to slip stitch down more than we will be we're going to slip stitch down nine stitches so starting with the first one i'm going to grab my yarn and i'm just going to pull it through the next one grab go through grab my yarn and I'm just going to pull it through. And we're going to grab our yarn and just pull it through the loop. And we want to go down and do this for nine stitches. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Okay, now without placing our chain one, we're going to yarn over two times, skip one stitch, and into the next stitch, we're going to make our treble. Mm -hmm. And then we will begin our pattern as normal, chain one. Skip one stitch and in the next one make a treble. Chain one, skip one stitch and the next step make a treble. So we'll continue with our regular pattern all the way to the end. For our treble rows. Okay, so I've gotten to the end of my work. I'm gonna chain one, turn my work, and now we'll be working our half doubles in the way that the rest of the pattern has called for us to work our half doubles. But we will stop in the sixth treble stitch from the top. So no matter what size, you see this is the first treble stitch on the other end, the first one we did. So one, two, three, four and five and six so we want to make our half doubles all the way till we get to the sixth treble stitch from the top okay Okay, so I have made my half doubles all the way till I get to the sixth treble from the previous row. So I now have one, two, three, four, five trebles unworked. Mm -hmm. I am now going to decrease over the next two trebles. Well, the chain one space in the treble. So I'm going to go in grab my yarn and pull up in the chain one space going to go into this treble the fifth treble grab my yarn and pull up and now I'm going to take all three loops off of my hook mm -hmm. I'm going to chain one and we can turn our work now that we're here not counting our first stitch right here we're going to decrease over the next two stitches so we're not going to decrease into this first stitch we're going to go into the next one grab our grab our yarn and pull up into the next one grab our yarn pull up and we're going to again decrease that mm -hmm. And now we're going to yarn over and we're going to complete our row of double crochets all the way down. Okay, 
So we did two decreases, one on the half double row. And then we turned our work and began skipping one, but doing a decrease here. And now we're going to work our half double, I mean, our double crochets all the way down to the end. Okay, so I'm finished placing my double crochets all the way to the end. I'm going to chain two because now we're on a treble row. And I'm going to work my treble chain row all the way till I come to the last two stitches from the previous row. So remember in the previous row, we started out with a decrease, okay? So this is that row and there's the decrease right before we come to our regular double crochets. So just look at your regular double crochets from the last row. You want to work your treble row all the way until you come to the third double crochet in that row. Instead of placing a decrease here, we're just going to skip it entirely. So we're going to skip the last two stitches in that row. So you should be working right until you get to the third double crochet from the previous row on this end, okay? So we can see that we have our decrease and then this is our first double crochet, our second double crochet, and we'll be working our trebles till we come to our third double crochet. Gonna chain one, skip one, and make my treble all the way down. Chain one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I am at the end of that row where, as you see, I have left two double crochets from the previous row unworked okay my first two double crochets from the end from the last row unworked so now i'm just going to chain one turn my work we're going to skip the first stitch which would be in the treble and in the second, which is the chain one space, and the second treble, we will make a decrease. We're going to yarn over, go into the chain one space, grab our yarn, pull up, go into the treble, top of the treble, grab our yarn, pull up, and now we're going to take all the loops off of our hook. And now we're going to continue with this chain one space, just placing our half doubles. In every top of treble and chain one space, just like we have been doing for the rest of the pattern. Okay, so we reached the end of that row of what our half doubles. Now we're going to chain one, turn our work, and we'll be making our row of double crochets. And we're going to make these in every stitch all the way down. So we'll be placing double crochets, and let's look at our all the way here. And we'll be placing them in every stitch, stopping with the last stitch being where we placed our decrease. So every single stitch is going to get the double crochet.
Okay, so I've gone all the way down with my double crochets. Now I'm going to chain one and turn my work. Now, normally in our pattern, this would be a treble chain one row, but this is our last row, and we're going to make this row another row of half doubles. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm not going to go into the first stitch. We're going to leave that one alone, and we're going to do a decrease in the second and the third stitch. So I'm going to go into the second one, grab my yarn, pull up, go into the third, grab my yarn, pull up, and then take off all loops. And then I'm just going to go down the rest of this row, just placing half doubles. Now that I'm at the end of my work, I'm going to cut my yarn. And just pull it back through and pull tight now we have created the same dip so we're gonna make two pieces like this but I've already made my two pieces So here are my two pieces side by side. So you want to face them to where the dip is right next to each other. So I'm going to take my yarn needle and add on a piece of yarn. Now I want only one end to be on. So I'm tying a knot only on one end. We're not working it as two pieces together. We're just going to be working one string. Okay. So you see how the other string is just there. Right. Now, once we have our yarn needle, we want to add this simply by starting in the first stitch. In the first stitch on the other side. And we want to sew this down. And now I'm just going to sew this all the way down till I get to the bottom. Now once I get to the end, I just want to place a knot. Mm -hmm. And if you want to, while you have that piece on, already on the string, you can go ahead and weave in that and so you can cut it super close so we been and i'm just going back and forth in the same area and because i weaved it in i can cut that piece super close so this is on the wrong side. Let's turn it on what will be the outside. And you can see that seam. Mm -hmm. So now that we have that done, now we must smooth this out the way. bringing that back piece now if you have a preference on which side you want on the outside then 
or which side you want at the top or bottom you go ahead and make that choice now because you want both of you want to lay this down seam side up okay so this is where we just sewed down you want that side to be facing you so once we put this together we can turn it on the right side All right. All right. now we're going to add our ends together here and feel free to pin that down and we'll add our ends together here Both of our sides should cover the same amount of space. So for as many rows as you sew down here, you want to have sewn down here. So these should be sewn down over the same amount of rows. And the same way that we just did the middle part, we now want to sew these down from the end to here here to the end and then we'll come back in and we'll work down the side now when you're sewing on your top if you find it difficult to try to get into this treble stitch and this treble stitch then you can always just go below it and stitch that area together like this so you go underneath and then you pull it up underneath and then pull it up okay so when you get to that area if you find having a hard time trying to go through the treble stitch then you can always do that area just like that and then continue to sew it regular For the rest of the way until you get back to a trouble area okay so I have just finished sewing down my tops so once we sew down our tops the only thing we um, have to sew down now will be our sides we have to sew down our sides but we have to leave space for our arm so for each particular armhole, you want to just start at the top. Make sure your piece is laying flat on the back, flat at the top, and the top piece is laying flat on that, okay? You want everything to be flat. All the way to the bottom should be absolutely even because all of these pieces were made to the same length. And you want to then measure and then begin sewing just as we have been. And you want to sew all the way down. to the very end okay or you could start at the end and sew up to that spot but i like to start from the spot where my arm begins and sew down um because this is all even it'll be fine and you want to do that on both sides now once you have your side sewn up so i have this side sewn up um, I have not sewn up this side yet, so I'm going to show you the next step on the wrong side, but you're going to flip it on the right side once you're uh, finished. We're going to look at the bottoms. Now, on the bottom, I just want to put a simple fringe. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn. I'm just going to grab any book that I have and the size of the tassels that I want to make. So I'm going to take and hold my finger on the bottom of the yarn and I'm simply just going to feed a bunch of yarn around the entire book. Now I'm going to stop there. So just want to demonstrate. Once I've done that, I want to cut the bottom just to break off the yarn. Now I'm going to take and I'm going to cut this right at the bottom evenly. So now, move my book. I have tassels, okay? So I'm going to take maybe two of these and it's all about how you like it. I'm going to get my hook and I'm going to place these all along the bottom. So I'm going to insert my hook where I want my tassels to be. Going to fold my tassels in half on my finger. Insert my hook into that center loop. And I'm going to pull my tassel down. Okay. Now I'm going to take and grab my yarn and pull that through. Mm -hmm. And tassel. And I'm going to place this wherever I want, as many times as I want, all the way around my work. And again, I'm just put using two strings to form my tassels. Fold it in half. Pull it through. Grab the yarn and pull both of them through and pull it tight. And then we have tassels, okay? So I'm actually gonna place my tassels all the way around, just like that. So if you don't want tassels and you want a more simplified look on the edges, you can always go around it in single crochets, okay? or half doubles or however, just to give it a border. But instead of that, I just wanna simply put tassels on mine and that's it. So I'm going to actually, I'm gonna move my tassels out the way. I'm actually gonna sew up my other side and let's see if we can find a model and let's see how it looks. Okay, everybody, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I had total fun making it i think we kept it totally basic um and threw our tassels on there to give us a nice end and i think that's what really sets the piece off once we're done i hope you enjoyed it and until next time make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video if you like this video and you guys any questions i'll see you in the comment section okay so until next time happy crocheting